Essential question. How are schools different around the world? Schools around the world. Children all over the world go to school. Let's learn about some schools around the world. Japan. My name is Amiko. I live in Japan, where school starts in April. We go to school five days a week, nearly all year round. Our language uses pictures as words. We draw and read and learn other skills too. We sometimes use folded paper to learn. Could readers compare information in the text to other information, including their own experiences, to help them understand it better? I see many ways that schools in Japan are like schools here. First, we both learn to read and write, and we both go to school five days a week. I can also contrast the information in the text or talk about how schools are different. In Japan, school starts in April, but here, school starts in August. And in Japan, the language uses pictures as words, and we use letters to make words. Ecuador. I am Hector. I live in Ecuador. I am in kindergarten, which we call our first annual or our first year. We wear uniforms. Everyone wears collared shirts. I wear dress pants. My sister wears a skirt and knee socks. At school, we learn to read, write, and count. We go to recess every day. My school has a large roof over our whole playground. Our school year is long, but our school days are short. Soon it is time to go home. Norway. I am Alan. I am six years old and I live in Norway. Our school year lasts from August to June. It takes my brother and me only a few minutes to walk to school. At school, we play games and make friends. We learn how to read, write, add, and subtract. Because I like numbers, math is my favorite subject. Tomorrow is a special day, ski day. Our teacher gave us a speech reminding us to prepare. Kenya. My name is Abdul and I am six years old. I live in Kenya. We go to school six days a week from January to November. We learn to read and write. We learn at wooden desks and share our books. We work together to keep our school tidy. Lots of large animals roam nearby. One way authors identify a topic for a section is by writing a heading. Remember, a heading is shown in larger type than the other text on the page. The heading can be one word or a few words. When I read the heading on page 10, for Kenya, I know that all the details on this page will be about schools in Kenya. What other headings did the author use? That's right, friends. Japan, Ecuador, and Norway. Where do you live? Where is your school? Is it the same as the schools in the story? Is it different? One thing is for sure, children learn and play at school. They are a lot like you.